genetic disorder is any one of several diseases resulting in whole or in part by a change in the DNA sequence away from the normal sequence. These disorders are often inherited. There are three ways in which genetic disorders can arise. Due to mutations within genes, due to changes in the number of chromosomes, and due to changes in the structure of chromosomes. Today we're going to focus on disorders resulting from having an abnormal number of chromosomes. The process of non-disjunction, which is when chromosome pairs or chromatids fail to separate during meiosis 1 or 2 respectively, can result in gametes having too many or too few chromosomes. Anytime an organism has an abnormal number of copies of a chromosome, it is known as aneuploidy. Whether the organism has too many or too few chromosomes, problems can arise. Most of the time, additional or missing chromosomes cause the resulting offspring not to be viable. However, sometimes aneuploidy results in changes to the organism's phenotype, that is, its observable characteristics. When aneuploidy occurs in humans, it often results in genetic disorders, such as Down syndrome, which we will discuss right after we look at a special type of aneuploidy known as polyploidy. We use this term to describe an organism or cell that has more than two sets of chromosomes. It is possible for certain organisms to end up with three sets of chromosomes. These are known as triploid organisms, or even four sets, known as tetraploid organisms. Although polyploidy results in miscarriage in humans, it is common in plants. Organisms with these types of chromosome numbers tend to have larger cells. An example of a polyploid organism is the triploid banana. These fruits tend to be larger in size than other bananas and they lack seeds. Seedless watermelons are also an example of a triploid fruit. As I mentioned earlier, Down syndrome is an example of a disorder that arises from having an abnormal number of chromosomes. Down syndrome is an example of trisomy 21. It is caused by the presence of all or part of a third copy of chromosome 21. People with this genetic disorder tend to have small noses, broad hands with small fingers, eyes that slant upward and outward and a flat back of the head. They also tend to have impaired cognitive abilities, which causes delayed development, but the severity of these symptoms vary greatly in affected individuals. About 1 in 800 babies born have Down syndrome, but the incidence of having a child with Downs increases as the age of the mother increases. For reasons that are not clear, human females over the age of 35 are 500 times more likely to have a child with Down syndrome than those who are younger. While non-disjunction is the most common way for trisomy to occur, another event called translocation can also produce Down syndrome in offspring. During this event, a piece of one chromosome breaks off and fuses with another. Turner syndrome is another chromosomal disorder that occurs from non-disjunction during meiosis. Normally people have two sex chromosomes, males have an X and a Y chromosome, whereas females have two X chromosomes. In Turner syndrome, the female receives only one X chromosome. The missing X chromosome impacts development before and after birth. Females with Turner syndrome are often short in stature and their ovaries don't develop normally, which usually results in them being infertile. Other symptoms may include extra folds of skin on the neck, kidney problems, swelling of the hands and heart defects. The last example we're going to look at of a condition arising from an abnormal number of chromosomes is Klinefelter syndrome. Klinefelter is similar to Turner syndrome in that it has to do with non-disjunction of sex chromosomes during meiosis. However, in this case, it impacts males who end up with two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome. This aneuploid condition, like Downs, is classified as a trisomy. Having two X chromosomes interferes with normal sexual development in the male and it results in other female features. 
Furthermore, the testes in affected individuals do not develop properly and the levels of testosterone are greatly decreased. There's a lot of variation in the way Kleinfelters affects males. While many affected individuals show physical traits, others will show no symptoms at all. In fact, these men may not even realize they have the disorder unless they visit a fertility specialist when trying to conceive a child, as most affected individuals are infertile.